Today's video is all about the visibility rules for 4, 8, 12, and 11. Before we proceed to our discussion, let's have first a review. You are going to identify whether the numbers are divisible by 3, 6, or 9. This activity is good for 60 seconds. Are you ready? Let's start! Number 1, we have 66. Number 2, 171. Number 3, 807. Number 4, 840. And number 5, 261. Your time starts now. You only have 10 seconds left. Time's up. Let's go check your work. For 66, we have 3 and 6. For 171, it is divisible by 3 and 9. For 807, it is divisible by 3. For 840, it is divisible by 3 and 6. And for number 5, that is 261, it is divisible by 3 and 9. Did you get a perfect score? This time, we are going to learn about the divisibility rule for 4. The rule states that a number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits is divisible by 4. For example, we have 9036. The last two digits of 9036 is 36. We are going to divide 36 by 4, and that is 9. We can say 36 is divisible by 4. Since 36 is divisible by 4, then 9036 is divisible by 4. The other rule states that a number ending with two zeros is always divisible by 4. Example number 2, we have 3100. The last two digits are 0. Therefore, we can now say that 3100 is divisible by 4. Next is the divisibility rule for 8. The rule states that if the number formed by the last three digits is divisible by 8, then the original number is divisible by 8. To understand this better, let's... For example, we have 5120. We are going to identify if 5120 is divisible by 8. Now, let's have the last three digits of 5120. And that is 120. Is 120 divisible by 8? Let's see. So we divide 120 by 8. And that is 15. 120 is divisible by 8. Since the last three digits of 5120, which is 120, is divisible by 8, then we now say, that 5120 is divisible by 8. Also, the rule states that a number ending with 3 zero is always divisible by 8. For example, we have 54,000. The last three digits of 54,000 are zeros. 
Therefore, we say 54,000 is divisible by 8. How about the divisibility rule for 12? The rule states that a number is divisible by 12 if it is both divisible by 3 and 4. Let's take a look to this first example. Is 2004 divisible by 12? We have to satisfy two conditions. One, is 2004 divisible by 3? To determine whether 2004 is divisible by 3 or not, we are going to add the digits of 2004. We have 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 4 equals 6. 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. Is 2004 divisible by 3? Yes, 2004 is divisible by 3. The second condition is, is 2004 divisible by 4? Let's have the last two digits of 2004. The last two digits of 2004 are 0 and 4. We divide it by 4. So 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. 2004 is both divisible by 3 and 4. Therefore, we conclude that 2004 is divisible by 12. How about example number 2? Is 816 divisible by 12? Again, we are going to satisfy two conditions. One, is 816 divisible by 3? Let's add the digits of 816. We have 8 plus 1 plus 6 is equal to 15. 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. Is 816 divisible by 3? Yes, 816 is divisible by 3. How about the second condition? Is 816 divisible by 4? The last two digits of 816 are 1 and 6. So we have 16. 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4. 816 is divisible by 4. Since 816 is divisible by both 3 and 4, we can conclude that 816 is divisible by 12. Let's now have the divisibility rule for 11. The rule states that a number is divisible by 11 if the difference of the sum of the digits in the odd places and the sum of those even places is 0 or divisible by 11. To understand better the divisibility rule for 11, let's have this example. Number 1 is 96,558 divisible by 11. First, we are going to identify the digits in the odd places. We have 8, 5, and 9. While on the even places, we have 5 and 6. Now we are going to get the sum. We have 8 plus 5 plus 9 is equal to 22, while 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. 22 minus 11 is equal to 11. 11 is divisible by 11. Therefore, 96,558 is divisible by 11. How about this second example? 8,437. Is it divisible by 11? Again, we are going to identify the digits in the odd places. We have 7 and 4, while on the even places we have 3 and 8. Now, let's get their sum. We have 7 plus 4 is equal to 11. 3 plus 8 is equal to 11. 11 minus 11 is equal to 0. Therefore, 8,437 is divisible by 11. 
Now we are going to summarize the divisibility rules for 4, 8, 12, and 11. For 4, we have a number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits is divisible by 4. Also, a number ending with two zeros is always divisible by 4. For 8, we have a number ending with three zeros is always divisible by 8. And a number is divisible by 8 if the last three digits is divisible by 8. For 12, we have a number is divisible by 12 if it is both divisible by 3 and 4. And for 11, a number is divisible by 11 if the difference of the sum of the digits in the odd places and the sum of those even places is 0 or divisible by 11. This time, we are going to apply what we have learned. You are going to identify if the numbers are divisible by 4, 8, 12, and 11. Let's start with, is 504 divisible by 4? Yes, 504 is divisible by 4 since the last two digits of 504 is divisible by 4. How about, is 1024 divisible by 8? Yes, 1024 is divisible by 8 because the last three digits is divisible by 8. Is 1,111 divisible by 11? Yes, 1,111 is divisible by 11 because the difference of the sum of the odd digits to those of the even digits is equal to 0 and that is divisible by 11. Lastly, is 912 divisible by 12? Yes, 912 is divisible by 12 because 912 is both divisible by 3 and 4. Dito nagtatapos ang ating talakayan mga kasinayan. Huwag kakalimutang mag-like at mag-subscribe sa Sir Mel Sipnayan. Hanggang sa muli! Music